What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode review, but this is going to be a review for 86 episode, uh, episode 12. Uh, we were talking about uh, 86 not long after it, it originally aired, but we didn't end up doing reviews for the, uh, the initial 11 episodes. Uh, because we were just, uh, I, I was the only one that really watching it and Spade wasn't really watching it at the time. So, uh, we just decided we would pick up, uh, in the second half of this season, or I guess what they're mm-hmm. technically labeling as being season two. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I, course, uh, I didn't get a, ha- have a chance to fully watch this until like this month. I, I literally had to binge watch all 11 episodes until finally it came out, um, uh, a new episode came out today so um yeah a, a lot of stuff happened in this episode that went by pretty fast in my opinion because um i mean we're, we're basically like i i can't i can't tell like uh, how long of a time skip it took but i i don't think it really you know, it, it went that far into the uh ahead of the time skip or something like that but basically we're just introduced like um well, basically, just introduced like one member of the new uh, of the new Spearhead group, uh, and of course, um, Vlad Elena is of course still the handler of the eighty six. Yeah, um, yeah, we we basically discovered that um, Major Milize has just been demoted. Um, she because of you know what she did at the end of the first season, um, and now she has this weird like red mm-hmm. streak in her hair. I'm not exactly sure what the point of that is. Um, but uh, yeah, like sh- we get introduced, of course, to the one new one of the new members of the Spearhead Squadron, uh, Cyclops, and uh, we just get some conversations between her and Cyclops, uh, as well as um, her kind of like uh, j- I guess just getting a sense of uh, you know what the uh, I-, I guess the relationship with uh, Melise and uh, I forget what that other girl's name is the uh, one that was her friend uh, is kind of. I guess going back to normal for the most part because uh, they were kind of, um, you know, it's, it seemed like they kind of ended, had, were on not so good terms uh, at the end of the first uh, first season. Uh, it seems like they're. I mean, it looks it like they're starting. Like they're back to normal now, to but it's uh, a little bit. I guess it's probably. Um, yeah, um, I I kind of was wondering if they were going to like if they were going to have any sort of a conversation about like you know shin or anything like no. that but uh it doesn't really get it brought up um we get uh we get melise uh uh talking to uh i forget what this guy's name i think he's her uncle technically or something that would be yeah that. the, yeah. the l- lieutenant commander or lieutenant colonel or something like that yeah of course, of course he's he- confronting her about what she did uh and she i, I kind of like it feels like she's has gone through some character development from the beginning of this show because now she's more like confrontational with with him and doesn't really back down as much uh where she's basically you know when, whenever he gets on her for what she did uh she said uh you know she did whatever she does would reflect badly on him so you know so that's you know she kind of uses that as a defense i guess uh to where if, if he were to do anything to her it would just make him look bad uh so i kind of like how she sort of like fights back against him now and yeah, like she, she kind of like uh, showed in the last season how she's more willing to just uh, go against the uh, uh, the the I guess the Alba government or the Republic. Yeah, and pretty much uh, just top, do her own thing. going up against the top brass, like uh, you know, at the risk of herself. But uh, at the t- at the same time, she's still uh, working behind the scenes to help the members of the eighty six and in the front lines. So mm-hmm. that's pretty much what we got off off of. Uh, basically the first half of the episode uh, yeah and i guess the little detail of her like changing her outfit or something uh, i don't know if it's to be rebellious or just because she felt like it um but yeah there's there's not really much else we get from her mm-hmm. perspective a, a lot of it is from of course the uh shin and and everyone else um i was kind of wondering how they were going to handle that considering how they ended the last season with them seeming like they had all just died at least, um, because a lot of their bodies were just lying on the ground, and yeah. uh, apparently, I I think uh, from what I remember, like Shin's mech exploded, and I guess it seemed like his head got cut off or something, uh, and he was having that conversation with his brother, uh, or at least his brother came and like 
uh, lifted it up, or lifted him up, and just kind of took him away with him. It kind of made it seem like Shin was dead. Um, although I know, you know, of course, if you look up the uh, the Wikipedia for the light novels, you know, Shin is not dead. So I was kind of <laughs> wondering how they were going to uh, how they were going to do that in the show. Um, but unfortunately, I was kind of disappointed with it because they kind of they don't really go into it. Unfortunately, it's just kind of she's still alive, but they don't explain how. Uh, him and everybody else uh, somehow are just, you know, they wake up in this hospital and uh, Shin still has his head and uh, he, it, does, you know, he it just, doesn't look like yeah. it doesn't look like he's even lost his head but yeah. he, he just, of course he still has the scar in his neck for one thing Yeah, but, of course we know that scar is from him being strangled as, as a child but yeah. Um, yeah yeah, but of course the uh, of course, they, they all wake up uh, inside of the hospital and they get introduced. Well, firstly, they get in- introduced to, I guess, the president of this country named er- Ernst Zimmerman. Uh, so the country that they're all in is is called the Federation of Jihad, which is, of course, uh, different from the Empire of Jihad uh, because because they they say uh, Z- Zimmerman says that you know, the country they're in is like is supposedly a splinter country from from the empire and they're they're also the ones uh having to fight the what was it the legion as well so so, some but of course the the big thing is like we don't know how shin and you know the four other members of the spearhead squadron somehow survived or ended up getting recovered from the battlefield after all of that and of course they 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 do they pretty much do nothing to elaborate on this yeah i mean it was just a pretty cl- uh, crazy cliffhanger that was it left off on the end of uh, the first season and you know it just kind of sucks we don't get any further elaboration on what really happened how they survived all that mm-hmm. um uh, we do kind of get uh the i guess the uh, you know shin his brother interacting and in like this dream world and uh, his brother kind of just moving on um before shin wakes up so i mm-hmm. guess to you know symbolize shin that uh at least it made it seem in the in the last episode like shin was dead and he was in the afterlife or something but apparently it was just you know it was just shin having this dream um but yeah, yeah. like if you if if you remember at the uh, at the final scene of the the last episode you could clearly see shin's body without his head but it, but it yeah, didn't, it didn't really. Yeah, that's just. I don't know. I, I have to wonder about that. Like, why were we showing that? Even though clearly Shin is still alive, mm-hmm. um, unless it's some kind of plot point that gets brought up later. Yeah. Well, it pretty much the remainder of this episode uh, uh, is pretty much Shin and the rest of his squad pretty much getting integrated and uh, being made citizens of the new country. Yeah. Uh, we get to see some of the citizens of this country, and um, I, I even noticed some of them were were Alba, so that was kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, there are people that are, f- I guess, for the liberation of the 86. Uh, so it seems like this is a country that, I guess, that wants to free the 86 from their uh, from the sl- their slavery by the Alba. Um, mm-hmm. So I wonder if they're going to... Uh, you know, if, if they're going to do anything with that, well, maybe there'll be some conflict with both, like, the Legion and the Alba or something. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm curious, like, what 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 role is, like, this Federation of Jihad is going to play with, you know, or how they're going to yeah, be Yeah, I wonder if they're, like, war. a neutral party or something, or if they're a, an openly, like, hostile nation uh, mm-hmm. towards the uh, uh, the Republic, the, I forget what it's called, the, uh, the, the um, uh, the Republic. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, well, Z- Zimmerman, Zimmerman like has a conversation with like uh, with several soldiers uh, while Shin and uh, his friends are recovering, and they discuss on whether or not they should even bring bring them back in the battlefield. But they, uh, but they acknowledge like how how good they are in the field, of course. But uh, Zimmerman feels like uh, they deserve some amount of peace after all the hell they went through, like pretty much being forced into the battle. Uh, by the Alba. Yeah. Um, I mean, they even discussed the possibility of just, uh, of, of killing them or something because they, you know, they don't know what to do with them. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I almost have to wonder if they also might have some ulterior motives 
to what they yeah. are thinking of doing with them. Yeah, but pretty much uh, uh, Zimmerman just take takes them all in and apparently adopts them in, uh, into his family uh, household. And uh, w- once they arrive into Zimmerman's mansion, we get introduced to another character whose uh, name is Frederica Rosenfort, who who is also who, who we don't know much about her. She just suddenly just pops up out of nowhere, like almost in a grandiose style, but just by staging like a like just moving like a desk and like a lighting just to introduce herself in some grandiose way. Yeah, yeah, she. Uh... She kind of like seems like the stereotypical like little sister character you would see in different anime, mm-hmm. um, but I, I feel like there's probably more to her character because it seems like I guess she must be some kind of a royalty or something or whatever. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's more to her uh, because it seems like they imply that there's the you know there's something else going on with her near the end of the episode. Uh, yeah, Z- yeah, Zimmerman like at the end of the episode called called her Empress or something like yeah. that. So I was so I was a little bit curious kind of, about that. She she might be from some kind of royal blood, uh, bloodline or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's that that's pretty much that's pretty much the episode. That's well, all we got. We don't really. Yeah, yeah, and and of course Shin gets like, uh, I wanted a, a piece of metal that he etched somebody's name into from that I that. Uh, uh, Ernst said was recovered from his mech um, mm-hmm. and uh, I forget wh- whose name was it that was on there because I actually forgot uh, was it um, I think it was Chise or was it somebody else I can't remember I'm guessing it was one of the characters that died earlier yeah like Sh- Shin Shin has a habit of like cutting off a piece of the mech and then uh, yeah. carving someone's name onto it I think pretty sure it was Chise but I I have to look mm. uh, look it over again but uh, but yeah that, that was that's pretty much the uh the episode we don't really go back to um, you know vlad elena if you know back in magnolia so <clears throat> uh so it's it was kind of disappointing we don't really get to see much of uh what else was happening but i mean I- i'm hoping that they'll elaborate more on how shin and the rest of the squad were somehow saved in that battle uh, at the end mm-hmm. of that last battle yeah, I mean, I also have a feeling that Shin and Malise will be separated for most of the season, too. Um, mm-hmm. Probably won't be until near the end or something that we get any sort of, like, uh, reunion between them. Um, but I mean, te- yeah. technically, they never met each other. Well, I mean, in terms of them just, together. like, being in communi- communicating with each other again. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, that was the only thing I was really kind of disappointed with with the episode, was that we didn't really get any sort of explanation as to what what happened uh how yeah. how shit and the others were just kind of you know they just kind of survived all that um it it could be something they're saving in, for later in the series um but yeah for now i was just kind of i guess i was just kind of annoyed that they they just get brought back and there's really no explanation for it um it, it, in, in a weird way it almost like now that i think about it it kind of reminds me of uh like uh the ending of the first season of gundam double uh, o where all the uh, it seemed like all the characters were dead and then they just come back in the second season with really not much explanation at all. They just survived. Um, so it's just almost kind of like that in a way. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I, I will say I, I do actually like the new uh, opening better than the first one. Uh, the first one was okay, but it wasn't my favorite. Um, this one, it, like, you know, this one has better... It seems like it has better direction and animation and just... Uh, I like the song better, too. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, I would definitely say I like this better this one better than the first one mm-hmm. uh but yeah i don't really have much else to say about that or the um this episode in general like it was it was okay like it wasn't like the best uh you know uh episode out of everything yeah. i've seen but i mean it was it was fun for what it was i mean i expect we're gonna get much more uh to come from this season um, yeah i mean i mean it, le- it left me with, mo- with more questions than than it answers uh mm-hmm. when, when this you know when this episode came out so i'm still curious on like um what's gonna happen what role the new um members of spearhead squadron is going uh what like what role they're gonna end up playing and what what else like uh vlad elena is gonna end up doing with a new with a new uh squadron that she's handling now yeah i mean i, I guess i can predict that the um Shin and the others will probably end up fighting for this new, this new country, fighting the Legion, um, mm-hmm. and uh, but yeah, there's not much else I can really predict because um, 
I mean, I I, I kind of wonder like who's going to be like the new villain for this season because you know in the first season it seemed like it was kind of like Shin's brother or you know Shin's brother uh, what remained of him. Uh, but I'm kind of wondering what they're what they're going to do for this season, like what the main conflict's going to be. Mm-hmm. Eh, I mean, there, there's well, the Legion is still one of the main antagonists of the show. Right. So, I mean, we, we have to wonder what uh, whether or not like this new uh, what what was it, the Federation of Jihad is going to have any contact with the Republic of San Magnolia. Yeah. Um. But yeah, yeah, I don't really have uh, too much else to say about this episode. I don't know if you have anything else to say mm-hmm. about it. I mean, it was okay, but like I said, I really wish that they could have answered a little bit more of what what really happened instead of just you know just showing us like what happened to the characters without any ex- explanation. Yeah, yeah, that's like I said. I hope they elaborate further on that. But um, yeah, so I guess um, okay, these uh, these episodes come out on Saturday or Sunday. Because yeah, uh, technically, I com- guess this was supposed to come out on Sunday, but I mean, the, the official release date was on October third. Uh, but technically, it came out well. It, it well today, as of right now, it's October second. And yeah. uh, honestly, I I didn't know the new episode came out until um, uh, what was it? Chibi Reviews actually put out a tweet saying that oh, he watched the episode. I'm gonna do the review right now and. <laughs> Which made me think, like, wait, the episode just came out today. So I, yeah. I looked it up and said, "Oh, wow, it already came out today." So I kind of, I kind of like, uh, kind of watched this new episode in a rush when I found out about it. Yeah. Well, I, I guess uh, you know that all being said, until uh, until next time, we will see you all later.